Kendra Cavasell, After Buzz Special Edition, here on the set of Men at Work. I'm here with Adam Bush, who plays Neil on the show. Welcome to the show. It's good to be here. <laughs> Thanks for having us. Um, I just wanted to get more get more into your character and see what you think about your character. It's it's a dark place in there. I don't know if you want to spend a lot of time. There's a lot of uh, conflicting ideas and neuroses fighting for control over this one body. So I wouldn't recommend spending that much time there. Right. But it's certainly fun from afar. Is it because of all the number crunching as an accountant? He's well, I don't know. For a show called Men at Work, he seems to be the only guy get any work done. I can agree to that. I, I watch the show, so I can agree with that. Mm -hmm. I, I try and make an effort to when there's papers and pen in front of me to look like I'm doing something. Mostly I'm, I'm just writing, um, we have nothing to fear but fear itself <laughs> over, over and over again. That's a nice inside tip. Yeah, so if you see a lot of the papers, that's what it has. Um, I was doing, I was in an acting class once and I was doing a trep left from the seagull and that opens with him trying to write a poem and failing. I was like a kid and I remember starting the scene and then going into the monologue and the teacher was like, stop, stop, what are you doing, what are you doing? I was like, what? He's like, what were you writing? What was I writing? He's like, yeah, read to everybody what it was. And it was like, I wasn't even writing anything. He's like, sit and try to write. Try and write a poem. Even if you fail at it, the work will be engaging. Yeah. So I took a little bit of that into what I'm doing here. And I'm trying to seriously just write or think of something or expand on something whenever I'm doing that. So now we're going to pay attention to that. Yeah, or not, because I guess if you're paying attention to that, then it's a pretty boring show. <laughs> no, it's actually an excellent show. Um, and I think your character is successful in that he is focused, and he's actually the only one with a girlfriend. Mm -hmm. He's the only one in a, in a serious, long-term relationship. And it's a great place for Breckett and the guys to deal with those kind of problems. You got the problems of single guys and get the problems of guys in relationships, and the joys of it, too. Right. And so how do you see your character and how he interacts with the other characters? It's great. What, what I like about Neil is that, you know, he knows what he's doing. Even if everybody else has no idea or it doesn't make any sense or it's the complete wrong thing, he is aware of what he's doing and owns it and is confident about it, even if it makes no sense to everybody else. We could all take a little lesson from that. You know, it's like the outsider doesn't always know that he's the outsider or doesn't always feel like it. You know, it's the other people that have put him there. He just likes Thor a lot. Yeah. <laughs> so you've, did, you've done um, a sitcom. You did Back to You. Okay. Um, how do you find this differs, or how do you find the comedy realm is in, in general? Well, um, you know, I, I, yeah. it's f for me, and probably for a lot of people, it's harder when there's a few lines mm -hmm. than if there's a lot of lines. If there's a lot of lines, you can just do the work and get lost in it. But on Back to You... I would just like run on, say a couple lines and leave, run on, say a couple lines and leave. And it was like, I had all week long to stress over, you know, message for you, Miss Brock, message for you, Miss Brock. And by the time it's tape night, those words have lost all meaning. And it's just like scat. It's just like boop, 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 boop. Like you don't even know what you're saying anymore. And it's hard to stay right. focused and uh, together on it. Uh, I think he's trying to get in your shot. Is this place haunted? <laughs> Is this place haunted by a really handsome ghost? <laughs> the ghost of Gibbs past. Ah, uh, <laughs> if only he could speak the stories he would tell. <laughs> I actually, actually, what does your character think of Gibbs, now that you mention it? I think the greatest thing you can say about these guys, the best compliment, the best aphrodisiac for any woman mm -hmm. to these guys individually would be that they're friends as a group. Mm -hmm. You know, I think the highest compliment for Gibbs is that he's friends with a guy like Neil. And I think as nerdy as Neil might seem, the fact that he gets along with Gibbs and that they like each other, like that's the best compliment you can say about those guys, that they're all digging each other even though they come from such different places and have such different lives. Mm -hmm. Interesting you yeah. say that. Actually, we have a fan question that's kind of related to that. Um, at Jazz on the Rocks, that's her ha his or her handle, um, they ask... That's does on Twitter. Yes. That's from the Twitter. Yes, it's a Twitter fan asking a question for, for you guys. Mm -hmm. um, they're asking, does the bromance continue after the set, and what do you all like to do together for fun? Oh, I mean, honestly, yeah. yeah. I'm, in, <laughs> I'm in love with all those guys. Um, I do. Um, um, and what do we, I mean, lately, all we've been doing is this. But before we started filming, we were hanging out and playing sports and watching sports and, and, and going to bars and just getting to know each other. And that was really fun. I mean, we're here 24-7, so we haven't been doing a lot of that. But as soon as this is done, we're all taking a trip together. <laughs> oh, nice. So you're not even really acting when you're on set. Oh, no. And my favorite part when I, when I see clips of the show is watching the way, like, you know, 
Cassidy is laughing at James while somebody else is talking or the little look that, you know, Danny gives somebody else while somebody else is talking because none of that stuff's in the script. None of that stuff is rehearsed. It's just us seriously watching the other guy and reacting. And it's genuine. It's real. I mean, and that's what my eye always goes to. I actually noticed that too. That's my favorite stuff. Like if you go to see a play, the no matter who's on stage, if there's a child in it, yeah. like your eye goes to the kid because the kid's the only one who's not acting. The kid's the only one who's like, look at that I'm in a theater and you see them looking around and your eye just goes to it yeah. it's like that in this show like that's my favorite stuff okay. and just quickly where do you want to see the show head um into its uh 200th episode similar answer to uh, <laughs> to Adam all right well thank you for joining us well thank you and tune in to AfterBuzz TV and and TBS to watch Men at Work Thursdays at 10. <laughs>